a variable in iOS or any programming language for that matter, you can think of as simply a box that stores something. Now that something can be what we call a primitive type. And there are a few primitive types, but generally speaking, you would store either a number, a string, a boolean, which holds true or false, or one or zero. And there are a couple of other primitive types that you'll get to know as you learn to program better. But note that a variable can only store one of these at any given time. So it can store a number, a string, or a boolean, or whatever else you have. You cannot easily convert between one kind of variable to another. So if I have a number and I have a string, and both of these have the value of the number two, notice that a computer looks at the number and it says that is a number. Then it looks at the string and says that is a string. It does not assume that they're the same, and nor can it really assume that they're the same. Now, that's not to say you can't convert between variable types. So for example, if I had my number two, and I wanted to turn that into a string so that I could display it on a screen, well then I could run some kind of method on it that says something like to string. And that bit of code would then convert it to a string. Now again, remember, these are not equal in a computer's eyes. So if you had two strings, let's say you had string one, which was the number two, and you said plus string, which was number three, and then you made this equals to, well, there's some shocking news for you. The answer to this would be 23. Because when you add a string together, it simply puts them one after another. So it puts two and then three. Whereas if you've got a number two plus a number three, that would be equal to what you expect, which is five. So that's the basis of variables. They store things, they aren't necessarily interchangeable, and you have to be careful when you're doing things like maths operations.